Welcome to the full view on SABC News and we don't want to waste time. Let's take you straight back to Oratambo International Airport. And this is where our Olympic medalist, the gold medalist Tatiana Schoenmaker, returning home today and talking about setting a new Olympic record. Um, <laughs> coach saying that she can in fact go faster. Team South, uh, South Africa's first medal uh, that was in Tokyo. Of course, she got the silver before the gold. Let's see what else she had to say. Basically, the way you made the nation uh, in a way proud, where you may be aware of that while you're <laughs> talking. I don't think so. I haven't been on my phone. Um, I did go off social media and everything just to focus on my competition. So at the moment, I still have a lot of messages to reply. So I haven't been reading any news or something. So I think that's maybe why it hasn't really sunk in. Um, until you kind of arrive here and see how it plays out. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it was obviously very disappointing, but I wouldn't be where I am today and the person I am today. So um, it was something I needed to learn and a lesson that I needed to go. And it just made me more motivated to go for the next one and not just try and qualify, but maybe try and make the finals at Olympics and now even win the gold, so, yeah. Uh, one more from Matapelo, from SATV. Tatiana, I want to take you back to when I was interviewing you a while ago and I asked you a question that you are now being compared to Penny Haynes and what is the pressure like? I saw Penny was at the Olympics. Did you have a word with her? And now that being compared to Penny Haynes and you actually have the medal to, to back it up, uh, does my statement now resonate or is it a little bit different? <laughs> yeah, um, she was there and she's always been there and been such a great support and it's always nice speaking to such amazing legends, giving back to us. Um, it was special having her there. Um, obviously, uh, yeah, I don't think anyone can be compared to Penny. She still has such an amazing achievement and I feel... Um, her legacy is something she created on her own and I've always felt I wanted to create my own way so I'll never be able to reach probably half the stuff she did but um, yeah she will always be remembered for that and she's still a very big inspiration and I still just want to focus on my journey to um, to get to some place maybe where she is. <laughs> Okay, we take one more question, please. Thank you very much. This is Omalepa from Arena Holdings. Uh, I think, Tatiana, you have answered uh, most of the questions. I'm just going to put my question to the minister and Saskok. We saw in 2016 when our athletes came back with 10 medals, you know, there were some financial incentives from Saskok and the minister just to say thank you. Uh, do we, do, are we going to have a similar arrangement again this time around? Thank you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> There's always that one person, eh? <laughs> In any party, eh? Um, I, th I think in due time, the public, the athletes, and everybody will be informed of, of any such arrangements. So I think I should leave that to the correct people. I think, Minister, I'm, I'm protecting you here as well. I think we should, we should leave that discussion to the correct channels and avenues. I think that's what's best. But, you know, definitely we're always grateful and appreciative of everything our athletes do. And we show it with our hearts and our doings and our actions and our words. What, what's your name? Ma? This it. This it. Likewise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, Thank you for coming. I'm going to close, and uh, but first, please may we allow um, Tatiana and the minister and coach and our vice president to please be escorted out first, uh, while the rest of you please remain. Uh, you can interview yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for opening us up. 
All right, Tatiana Schoenmaker back home uh, with uh, medals in the bag, uh, government there, a coach there, uh, just talking about processing uh, what happened at the Olympic Games in Tokyo. All right, and uh, we're going to.